this part was machined 100% out of stock, and you can see there's mostly nothing there. There's mostly air. Uh, and the, what they were doing, they machined this thing 100%, and they were throwing all of that material out. The material's expensive, number one. But number two, there was all the time that took place in machining. So uh, we took the cost of this thing, literally almost 25% of the original cost is what they're paying for it now. My name's Tim Weber. I'm with Batesville Products in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, and we are a permanent mold aluminum foundry. Uh, we specialize in some of the tougher parts that uh, most other foundries or manufacturers won't, won't address. Uh, we're unique in that we do the casting, uh, we do the, all the secondaries as far as machining, polishing, plating, and even offer uh, powder coating and painting. This is an old part, actually. This part is being made, it's, it'll be made forever and ever. It's a siren, and it goes on the front of every single fire truck and every single amb ambulance in the United States. Uh, what was difficult about this was the pool course that these particular cored out areas determine what the sound of the siren is going to be. So we had to figure out a way to cast and pull those cores in a permanent steel die. The thing that also we offered them, because it gets a mirror finish, the part came out of the, out of the mold in pretty good shape. So all we had was finished stock and polishing stock. So there was a lot less labor to do uh, on this particular part. After it gets machined, then we polish it and chrome plate it. Taking this technology moving forward got us into this product here, which is for lighting. And it's LED lighting, and they wanted to take heat out of the chamber, out of the uh, body of this cast, out of the body of the part, the casting. And you notice it's got all these fins cast in. They're trying to figure out how can they cast those fins, how will they fill out and keep the thin wall, and at the same time keep a nice surface finish. They were going to looking at sand, but sand was real rough, real dirty, and it gave them a, just a rough finish. So we ended up using the same technology on pulling all these 28 cores as we did on the stator earlier on. This particular part created some issues in that they wanted to have a casting that they could mount this to the body of this, it's a pump, but they had to take heat out of the pump. And what they were trying to figure out a way is how to put cooling fins into this casting. What we ended up doing was actually casting in a stainless steel tubing so that they actually can flow water through, take the heat out of the casting. The casting actually has, acts as a heat sink. And we do this in the casting process. We actually cast these tubings into the, uh, the integral into the casting and then machine it and do all the secondaries from there. So if uh, folks want to get a hold of us, we are, our website is www.batesvilleproducts.com.